Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bowhunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today, we're going to talk about this. John Tucker attacked the saddle, his brand new model of the uh, uh, 2023 um, tree stand safety harness. He calls it the TBWS tree stand safety harness is what it's called. Um, and uh, as you guys know, last year I contacted him about making one and I had him, I gave him these exact design specs on what I wanted it to be. And uh, he made it and it's been huge worked great and then he went out and uh, this year he just kind of did some modifications to make it a little bit better which I'm going to show you today and we're going to kind of highlight. Um, but I have this one left exactly how he sent it to me because I do do a couple little modifications for myself personally um, which I will show you. And uh, But this is how it comes now. You can get this with fabric loops. I showed you. I'll link at the end of this the original video because you can still get all those options. Whether you want a cobra buckle in the front, uh, whether you want detachable quick release leg straps or cobra buckles on the leg straps. Uh, if you want fabric loops, glow in the dark fabric loops. The thing you have to remember is Tacta Saddle is even as saddles but also this harness is custom built to your exact body specs. Okay, so I'm a 34 inch waist. He knows that. He makes it that way. Um, he also knows that I'm going to be hunting, you know, I, I'm 34 inches like this when I'm hunting in here in Georgia where it's warm weather and I'll be this way. But when I end up in late November or somewhere in the Midwest, it could be a lot colder, could be zero degrees and I might have more layers on. So I have enough slack here to be able to expand this out. He does that with all of them. So it works fantastic, and he does an ex excellent job. The quality is second to none. It's the best quality. It's all stitched by him. It's all USA source materials. Um, I don't think there's another saddle company out there that can say that. Maybe there is. I'm not sure. But um, he is the guy from start to finish through every aspect of it, from the cut the material, source the material, sewing every stitch, making it to your specs. He does every one of them. It's almost like buying a custom bow, like from Steve Teray, where he is the one that builds every single aspect of your bow. There's a lot of good boyers like that out there. Uh, or Travis Styles, who make knives, he does every single step of the process. Nothing is handed off to anybody else. Same with these. Okay, if it's made from Tacta Saddle, it's 100% John Tucker making them. Plain and simple. Small business, small town guy, and uh, just got a real drive for quality and you can't beat it. Now, what makes this different from last year's model is, the, I will show you here, is mainly this. See how we have double buckles right here? You can see this buckle is on both sides of this here and here. What that's going to allow me to do, let me actually lower this down a touch for you here so you can see it better. Okay, so what this does on this harness is it's going to allow me to wear what I'm wearing now and be good, but say I put on some bigger layers. Okay, let's just adjust this. Say I got on a bunch of bulky layers. See how the lineman belt loops, which this is how they will come if you get it with the steel rings or the aluminum rings, they'll come this way. I stealth strip those. This one has been covered in stealth strips. I haven't done this one yet to show you what it'll look like when you get it if you get the ring option. But now imagine if I was wearing bigger, bulkier winter clothes, but see how my lineman loops are still right here exactly where we want them on the side? Or if I squish down to what I'm wearing now, you know, like in this kind of an outfit, it still keeps my lineman belt loops exactly in the same spot because I'm pulling from both sides of this webbing. So they're both coming in together. And if I expand out more clothing and I put on heavier clothes or bulkier clothes, they will still be right there at the same exact spot. So they're always in that position right there on my hips where I want them, which makes it perfect. It doesn't get better than that. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And John was the one that figured out how to do that. I didn't know how to. Now let's show you the difference of that from last year. And then I'll show you kind of the things that I do differently and I'll show you how this comes. So you can get this with quick release leg straps, okay? Where they come right out, you know, they're, they pop out. Like I said, he's got a lot of options. This one, I'm gonna show it to you exactly as it comes because I'm going to change some things on there. Things that you might like, so he gives you that, I, I, that bother me that I take off. But let me show you the difference here real quick with last year's model. <laughs> this is my line that I tie off to the tree with. This is, uh, you know, I use this and it's my, uh, Right here, this red tape is actually how far it goes from the tree for me from there. And that's my little marker, but I use this and I just tie in with a bow line. It's just sweet, simple, tied in with a figure eight. Nothing to it, okay? Eight and a half mil uh, Sterling Duetto dry rope. And uh, it's uh, a dynamic rope. I love it. 
Okay, and I've shown you that in other videos, which again, I will link at the end of this for you. But, so we put our, this one on here. Okay, and again, you can get it with quick release leg buckles if you want. I don't, I like the, the simplicity of it. So now we put this thing on, okay. And we put this on here like this, we get set up, okay. Put this on, get your leg set. This one on, get your leg set, okay. And get this snugged up. Now, we got it here, we got our straps on right here, we got our alignment belt loops. Watch, see how they're off? This one is off just a little bit on this side. And it's a little more forward on this side, just a smidge, just a tiny bit, okay? If we center that out, they're off just a hair. That's because of weight stuff, okay? Now, if I let this out, watch, if I go to thicker, like if I go to heavier clothing, okay, and I center that out, look where this one ends up now, way back here because it's all connected to one strap. Now, if I pull this in tighter and I yank that in nice and tight on me, even smaller, okay, I get right there where they're right back where they should be. Right on spot where they should be at is perfect. But as this expanded out for heavier clothing, it moved this one back or it shifted this whole thing this way in order to do it. It was because everything is drawing from one side only. Most people are not going to do that big of extremes changes in clothes, but if you do, it's noticeable. And that was the one downside is everything is always on one belt line and one adjustment point here. And as you, you adjust it, you pull this in or out. So that was one thing that really was kind of a bummer with it, but it still, it worked fantastic. And I loved it and it's a great harness and I'm not taking anything away from it. But his new system of drawing that from, uh, from both sides completely eliminates that issue now. Let's drop that in there. So now with this one pulling from both directions, as it goes here with these two buckles here, right here, and being able to draw both of those in, you are creating the lineman belts coming in and out at the same point, and they're always staying right on your hips, so that's nice. Okay, so now some of the setup stuff that I do, I'm gonna change this up a little bit here now because I'm kind of tired of staring at my not seeing myself, I like to see myself. There we go. All right, so um, this is how it comes when you get it. You will have strap keepers on this thing, okay? So you can make everything so nice and so neat and you can line those up and see how they keep all your straps so perfect. You will have these strap keepers on here like this, these plastic strap keepers, they are nice. They will be there. You will have them here on your leg straps too. See, oh, look at how nice that is. You will have them here. Oh, it's gonna be so nice and clean. I'm gonna rip every one of them off, okay? They're like strap keepers on a backpack. I can't stand these things. Uh, they're in my way. I don't mind the straps hanging. So these are coming off. I'm going to cut and break every single one of them off of here. I will not have one on there anywhere. And then also in the back, most people like it this way. On the back, on the saddle strap here, you can see it, they've got both of your leg straps come from one point here to each of your leg straps. Let me try and show it better. But see how they go to one point and they're real quick, easy to adjust with this to both of your leg straps. I don't like that. It bothers me. I don't like the way it kinks on me. I don't like the way it feels. So on mine, looks like this. What I used last year, notice there is not a strap keeper on here. Nope, not gonna have one. Don't need it, don't want it, nothing to do with it. And uh, so there's no strap keepers any place on this. I like the leg straps even, everything just hangs loose. I'm not putting any strap keepers on there. And I actually took and tied off my rear end straps, my leg straps separately. So they come up separate. See how they're popping up on their own there from the leg straps? I want them like that. That works better for me. So I just put them up there and tied them at the length I needed. All I did was just pull that buckle off there and tied them in. That's just my preference. But I'd rather them pull straight up. So when they're going, they're going straight up right here rather than going to here in the middle. Where when I flex my leg that goes on the inside and under, I'd rather it go right here. So again, personal preference. But that's how I set that up. At. See that cool tag in there? See that? 100% every aspect of it by one man to your specs. Like I said, quality does not get any better. So, but that was last year's model. This is the one we're using this year. Same exact setup. How I will change it is I'm going to put stealth strips on this, on the other one here. So it'll be stealth stripped. You just heard this one ring, but I will have stealth strips on that ring. All of these strap keepers are going to be broken and ripped off. And this on the back here, 
I'm going to do it right now. Actually, we're going to pull apart this buckle like this. Feed that through just like that and then feed this one through just like that. Got to kind of do them. He's got it nicely stitched so they never come apart. They're double folded over. It's the little bitty details that he does there that just make a huge difference so that they don't come out on their own. I mean, the guy's got mad skills. There's just no doubt about it. See, when you pull that, watch. It's going to pull, it's going to hit, and it's going to fold over on itself so that it can't come out. He just does everything right. Um, but we're going to get it, fish it through there like that so that we can take this buckle off. And then we're going to completely remove this buckle. And then, like I said, I'm going to tie these each. Don't need that. Okay, and then I'm going to bring these up and I'm going to tie each one of them onto here individually so that they're set like that so that they come up straight down. That's what I want to have happen with my leg straps. But other than that, like I said, fantastic. Now, mine also does not have any molly webbing on the main part of the belt here, as you see on the back. No molly on mine. Okay, that's personal preference. I don't ever put anything on there that I need molly for. No part of it is anything I want. He will, however, add it, like you see on this one, all the way around the belt. So you have molly on there if you want to. See, I even tied these straps onto the molly panels that are on there. But again, not, re not required. Not at all. It's up to you if you want it. And it's, I think it's mostly on there, but um, it's an option. Whatever you check with him. He doesn't have a whole bunch of pictures on his website of this harness yet. Okay, it's just he's so busy making harnesses and making saddles, not a ton of pictures on him. You can see it all in this video. Go there, and then when you go to his order form, click on the TBWS Safety Harness. That is what I'm showing you right here. You can buy it right now. It's available. All the details are there. All of the options are there for you. He promises he will get some pictures updated soon. I just don't know when it's going to be. Like I said, he works a full-time job and he's a dad and he's got a million and a, and a loving father and he's got a million things going on and, or, and a loving husband. And he, like I said, the guy's 600 million miles an hour and trying to hunt. So all of this stuff is there. But you may not see a bunch of new pictures on his website yet. You know, can't fault the guy. He's just too busy sewing and building stuff to not really worry about uh, the, the marketing aspect. But you will absolutely love these harnesses. They're incredible. Uh, a lot of great advantages to them. And like I said, he builds them absolutely amazing. If you're going to buy one, I also highly recommend this. Because last year there were quite a few people that were trying to buy um, they would call him in like second week of September or in October going, Hey, you know, I want one of these. And, and John promises about a two week turnaround time. Usually two to three weeks turnaround, which is really good. If you call and try and get one in the end of September or the, or during the month of October, you're probably not going to see it till like December or January. It's just the way it is. He, he made that clear this year when we were driving out this year for hunting, he was saying that he's like, you know what? I, I barely got to hunt it all this year because of the fact that I, you know, so many people were calling me last minute for these and I felt obligated. He will not be doing those this year like that. Okay. So if you want one, buy it now. So you have it. If you wait till September 30th to order one of these, you're probably not going to get it for at least, you, let me put it this way, the two or three week turnaround time, not going to be honored. Not even a little bit. He'll get to it when he can, but he will no longer be giving up his weekends to sow when he could be out hunting during hunting season. So jump on this now if you want one. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.